hello what's up in this video i'll be showing you how you can easily edit and color grade your raw images and make them pop and in this we're going to be learning how you can easily color correct or how you can easily correct the image regarding the colors and also how you can easily even and match skin tones for your images when it comes to photoshop so simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you i need to subscribe to this channel and if I try and download the image to follow along, simply check the links in the description of this video. So in order to import the raw image in Photoshop, you are simply going to come and right click and come to open with and simply come to Photoshop. And it is going to open up the image using the camera raw filter. So in the camera raw filter, what we want to do is first of all correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image. So we are simply going to come right here to the light option and simply come and take down the highlights and do the same for the whites to recover information in the blown out skin areas then you're going to drop the blacks a tiny bit then come and open up the shadows and add some contrast to the image then you're going to open up the exposure of this image slightly and by just doing that you can see before and after and after doing this or after correcting the lighting and contrast issues you are going to go straight to the color mixer option so under color mixer we have hue saturation and also we have luminance hue changing a given color you can change for example the greens to look like a aquas you can make the greens look like a color on top of it by moving the slider towards the left hand side which is the yellow so you can move towards the right hand side and make the greens look like a color below it which is the aquas or you can make the greens look like the yellows so basically hue is changing a color saturation is the intensity of a given color you can increase on the intensity of the greens or reduce on the intensity of the greens so depending on the colors that you have in the image you can play around with these colors then also luminous is the brightness level of a given color so after understanding that we just want to manipulate the greens first of all in this image and by that to reset a given adjustment you can simply double click on the pointer to reset it back to zero so for this we're just going to change the hues of this green area by making the greens towards uh, the aquas and it's going to make the greens pop in the background so after doing that, you're just going to come to the saturation and slightly reduce on the intensity of the greens or the saturation of the greens just a tiny bit to around negative 18. And you can see before and after. Right now the greens are popping. So if I truly want to add it to add rather contrast to the skin, you are simply going to come to luminous and come to the oranges and slightly darken the oranges to have more contrast. In the model skin and after you've done that you're simply going to come and open the image in photoshop so in photoshop what we want to do this step we're about to do is meant to be done after you have done the skin retouching so this is what we're going to be doing we just want to create even skin tones and later on do the final grading of this very image so let's assume that the this is the retouched layer so after retouching the image so we are assuming that this is our retouched layer i'll just rename it so after retouching the skin or after smoothing the skin to your liking this is what you have to do the very first thing you have to do is creating a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e then for windows the shift alternate control e to create a stamp visible layer as you can see then you're going to come to the new layer icon or the create new layer icon right here left click on it to create an empty layer change its blend mode from normal and you're going to change it all the way down to color so when you change it to color this is what we have to do next come back to the layer that we created or the stamp visible layer and simply come to select and come to subject and it's going to automatically select the subject for us 
So Photoshop is going to help us select the subject or outline the subject for us. So right now the subject has been selected and whether if I told you don't have the select subject icon or method or option right here, simply come to the quick selection tools and you can use this to select around the subject. So after selecting the subject, we're going to come back to this layer that we created and come and get the brush tool. So after getting the brush tool, simply make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. Opacity 100%, flat 100%. And with the brush tool selected, we are simply going to zoom into the image. So after zooming in, we just want to sample an area on the skin color that we want the rest of the skin tones to look like. So in order to sample that area, make sure you zoom all the way in. And to sample that given area, you're simply going to hold down the option key on the keyboard. Or you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard. So I'm just going to hold down my option key because I'm using Mac. And sample a given color on the skin. So I'm just going to sample a color about there. So hold on the option key and left click to sample a given color. So I'll sample from this particular area. And after sampling, you can see a color that we have just sampled is going to be displaying on these color swatches. So what is left is simply increasing on the size of the brush by using the bracket key on the keyboard and simply coming and just painting over the skin. So you have to be careful not to paint in some areas like the hair or other parts of the skin. And by the way, if I told you don't love the sampled color, you can simply undo that by pressing Ctrl Z and undoing everything. Then you can sample once again. So option and just come and click to sample a color. So I'm just going to choose a color that has more of the contrast. So I'm just going to sample a color that is belonging at about around here. So we can sample this. And come once again and start painting. So make sure you paint on each and every area that has or contains skin. Because this step is basically more of evening out the skin tone so I'm just going to be painting quickly and make sure you avoid some areas like the lipstick makeup and some edges of the hair you have to be careful with this first step control minus and hold on the space back key move up and simply come to the hand and also paint on her hand just like that and by just doing this you can see right now the skin is getting to look a little bit better and more uniform that it, than it was initially uh, before. So I'm just going to paint just like that. And to increase or reduce on the size of the brush, you can use the open and close box bracket keys on the keyboard or the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So I'm just going to paint on the hands. And you can see painting at a distance is going to be more of a disadvantage because sometimes you may paint out of some areas so in order to rectify those areas just come and get the eraser tool or you can press E on the keyboard for the eraser mode set to brush make sure the hardness is set to zero and opacity at 100% flat 100% and I'm just going to start painting away so you have to zoom in and simply left click and draw around to erase the areas that you did not want to be affected by the color grading of uh, the skin color so I'll just come to the lips and also eliminate the colors from there and you can even eliminate it from the hair if at all you wish to so right now after evening out the skin color Press Ctrl D or you can use Command D on the keyboard and make sure that the effect is natural. So just come the opacity right here and reduce on the opacity to your liking. So I'll just go with an opacity of around 
five looks okay before after before after so next you're just going to come and reduce on the saturation of the skin color or skin tone so just come and first of all create a hue and saturation adjustment layer then come and select the reds and come to where you see lightness and simply take down the lightness slightly to the reds and that is going to slightly desaturate the oversaturated oranges then you're going to come and create a black and white adjustment layer change its blend mode from normal to multiply and come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity just like that to around four before after it adds contrast to the overall image then you're going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer so that we can work on the black outfit in this case so just come to the colors and simply select blacks intensify the blacks slightly by adding just a tiny touch of the blacks then come to where you see science and you can alternate the science to make the blacks a little bit more cinematic you can see before after before after right now the image looks okay and it looks great but you can even make it pop by coming and creating a levels adjustment layer then hold on the option key on the keyboard you can hold on the alternate key on the keyboard and drag up the black point so option and click to drag up the black point stop at the point where, where by some of the dark areas are starting to clip then hold on the option key on, on once again and drag the white areas and stop where the highlights are just starting to show that red color you can see before after before after right now the image is popping and now we are done with the color grading so this is how i would color grade this outdoor image and you can see the color grading for photoshop before after before after before and after so this is how you can easily edit and color grade your raw images when it comes to photoshop and if i told you i've loved this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you i've been watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget keep practicing and also keep creating